Hi, 2D class. Uh, I'm going to re-record Project 6. Uh, I discovered that it had messed up audio. I'm sorry about that. Um, so here it goes again. Um, I may have a solution to the problem. So I see that uh, audio 5, or the video and audio, were fine on the Project 5 that I redid. So anyhow, let's get started again. Um, as always, I want to begin with File New. File New and I'm going to turn it into inches again and let's go roughly 6 by 6 inches 7 by 7 doesn't really matter by 72 dots per, per inch I'll leave a grayscale and say okay to that <coughs> okay um, the issue here is uh, something I'm calling positive and negative space um, when we see a big blank canvas like this, uh, basically that's negative space. Uh, there's no figure, there's no object. Um, a figure can be anything. Uh, here's a brush and if I draw something then we would say okay there's the figure and that's the ground. This is the positive space, this is the negative space. Um, Okay, so that's just what it means. Uh, sometimes that can be reversed. If I were to say control I, then obviously the black is now the negative space and the white is um, the positive. Uh, because this is the object, this is the ground, the figure ground. Um, so what I want for you to do on this project is create three different designs that um, have mostly positive space, a little bit of negative space, another one that's 50-50, and another one that is um, uh, mostly negative space and a little bit of positive space. So, and they, these three, it's obvious, they, they contrast nicely. Um, so let me get rid of this. I select it all and then I just hit the delete key and I can erase everything instantly. Nice little trick to know about. Um, Let's see, I'm going to do this with a letter form. I'm going to, picking up with the last movie, start with a light Edwardian script font. <clears throat> and I will make it uh, 300 points this time. And click here. And just as long as I had that capital S before, I'm going to choose that again. Um, now what I'm going to do is just take a segment of this. Um, and I could crop it square. Sure, why don't I crop it square? Um, I could set up my crop parameters up here on the top too and say, okay, let's make it 2 by 2 inches at 72 dots per inch. And then when I click and drag, it's going to make exactly that size for me so that when I go to set up a larger, um, and if I make it touch just slightly, right here it's touching, it's touching, and at the bottom it's touching. Now, nope. I'll do that then where it's touching right here. Hit enter. Okay, this one will be my mostly negative space and a little positive. In other words, uh, mostly white and a little bit of black here. So let's start with a new, uh, actually before I do that, uh, canvas size. I want to copy this and put it in memory. So select all, control C, Okay, so the uh, select all or control A, control C, edit copy, it's the same thing. It's in memory. So now I go image, canvas size. And let's go with a 4x4 four four grid, so 2468 inches by 8 inches. Anchor it in the top, say OK to that. And let me zoom out. Oop. Right, like that. Okay, so now I'm going to paste, oh, this was the original one here, so that's on the background layer. Let's take a look at that. You can always figure out what's going on by looking at your layers. This was my original S, so I'm just going to toss it in the trash can by dragging that layer right into the trash. And I'll close that palette so we can get back and look at this. And I'm going to stick this in the corner. Now, I turned off Snap in the last movie, so for this one I want to turn it back on. Snap helps, <coughs> see how it's snapped right into the corner, and when I click on a new one of these guys here, it snaps right into position, so it helps align things really well. And, okay, that's close enough. 
Um, what I'm going to do now is a shortcut is layer flatten all these together. See all these different layers in here. So I'm going to say layer flatten image. And then I'm going to take the wand tool and click black and select similar. I'm going to copy this and paste three more down and move them out. And notice how quick and easy that is. Um, I'm going to let them touch, um, I think. Let's see. If I took off the snap tool again and see what it looks like if I can get these just to touch. Like so. Yeah. So I ended up with not an exact square because of the, the fact that I wanted them to touch a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to crop away this excess to the right here. Let me move this over. Good. And I'll crop away the excess bottom. So layer flatten image. And crop tool this time. I could set this up to 6x6. Six six, and it'll end up making this a little bit larger. Uh huh. Okay, it's slightly rectangular. So that's fine. Uh, I'd leave that. If you want to get really picky about it, just take away these constraints like this. Make that zero. Zero, zero. Cl click and drag till I have it just to the edge there. Good. Okay. Um, remember, if you want to add a black border to anything, you can select all and edit stroke right here. On the inside, I'm um, choosing three pixels and then deselect. Save it and then go ahead and try another one. Um, if you want to try a variation too, um, we can try an instant inversion. Um, I could have turned alternate blocks uh, black uh, as an inversion. Do it one or two straight ones first. Um, then try one where it, just the opposite happens. It's mostly black with a little bit of white. You could use a cropped letter form. You could use a dot. Uh, you could uh, stick with those two things for now. Um, and then try one where the white and black is 50-50 and uh, the eye doesn't really quite know whether it's positive or negative. Good. So that's it for this project and see you in the next movie.